All I know is I'm not gonna sit here another day. It's spring break. How are we gonna get enough money? I don't know. Time? We're the only ones still here in spring break. I'm tired of seeing the same thing. My pants sag low like a What a magic place, y'all! You can change who you are, y'all. Bikinis and big booties, y'all. That's what life is about. Spring break forever, bitches. How do you go about choosing which uh, projects? Um, you know, it depends on you know what I'm doing with the project. If if I'm acting in a project, my first uh, criteria is who's directing it, and then you know, I'm very director driven. And then you know it's okay, you know what is the project? Does it fit that director, et cetera, et cetera? And there's you know a kind of music that you listen for, you know between the director, script, my role, who I'm going to be acting with, all of those things you kind of consider. But basically, I just do projects that I believe in. Um, and then if I'm, you know, directing a project or producing a project, um, I'm a little more, you know, those are usually projects that I initiate. So I would say that those are dear to my heart. Those are things that I really want to get made. Those are things that... Um, maybe wouldn't get made if I didn't do them. And so um, I'd say those, are, you know, the projects that I produce and direct are, are projects that are very close to my heart and are maybe more directly out of my personal uh, creativity. I did three sex-related projects at Sundance this year. Um, one was directly, you know gay themed or you could say queer themed and one was you know had had some queer themes in it and um, I've lost three kind of advertising campaigns now because um, the companies don't like they say they don't like my image but I know it's directly related to the films that I put out at Sundance so you could say that there is still this kind of uh, homophobia or um, prejudice against certain kinds of material in mainstream cinema. So, uh, I, you know, I, I don't know what would signal a significant change, but um, I think some change still needs to happen. Thank you very, very, very much, Mr. Franco. All right. I, I feel like, you know, pe people need to, not everyone, but there needs to be a certain segment of, you know, the movie make, you know, directors and writers who, I don't know, are bold and are just trying to do things that are, you know... The, more uh, inventive. The common complaint I hear, though, is that even inventive ideas won't get support from studios because they'd prefer a formula or a remake of something they know works. Well, that's true, but that doesn't matter because, I mean, I don't make movies with studios. I mean, you just do it. You just, like, look, in life, nothing's easy. And if making movies was easy, you know, the more people would be doing it, I guess. I don't know. It's, maybe it's not meant to be so easy. And if it is hard, you just got to do what you got to do. Right. You know? Thank you. Um, question. There was a period in time where you were receiving a lot of harassment and bullying online via Twitter because of events in your personal life. I'm wondering what advice you would give in terms of what helped you get through that for LGBT kids that are also bullied online. Honestly, I had to have a system that worked for me. Everybody's different, obviously, but what I did was I actually took all of the social media off of my iPad and everything else, and I actually just sent a text message to Facebook. So if I want to post something, it sends it usually through my, my um, text message, so I don't actually have to read any of the other things if I feel like I'm going to get nervous about it, and then I have a login on my computer. So if you make it maybe less accessible, you're, um, I think you're protecting yourself in a way. That's what I did, at least. One last quick question. Um, you were raised kind of in a Disney mold, and now you're definitely, this film is a huge departure from other things that you've always done. Um, how has that been? Is that, I figure that transition might not be easy. Yeah, it's a little awkward, I think. You know, I, I don't think there's a really right or wrong way to, to transition into a quote-unquote adult actor, but I'm definitely just trying to do the best I can and being a part of really great movies like this, I'm super stoked about, so. Well, I applaud you taking such a, a, a bold choice for your... Thank you. Thank thank you. What advice would you give to any young aspiring actress who might uh, want to take on a, 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 an unconventional role but is afraid that it would typecast them or somehow get them blacklisted? I don't think you should ever worry about being typecasted. I mean, for me... I, I, I just dyed my hair brown because I've been typecast as like the pretty blonde popular girl and I hate that. And Spring Breakers is my one film that you can see a completely different side of me. I'm super edgy and a badass and I've never played that. And then I got bored last week and I was like, I want to dye my hair brown and I did. And now I'm like, it, it just, I don't know, every, everything just takes time. But never, never be worried about being typecasted. Do what you want to do. Follow your gut. That's what I did. And 
um, this movie's awesome, so I'm, I'm excited. Last quick question. Um, is there What actress or what uh, uh, character in any film do you really, really look up to that you were like, yeah, you know what, like, I, I like that, and that's the sort of thing that I really believe in? Um, one of my favorite actresses is Michelle Williams, uh, Meryl Streep, and Natalie Portman. I think they're all very strong female um, characters, and everything they do, they're the female leads, and they carry the film, and they're not afraid to take risks. They do every type of movie, whether it's a romantic comedy, a drama, a horror, a, a great independent film. I mean, they're, I look up to them so much. Those are the three actors that I want to, to kind of hopefully have my career like. But I don't know. I mean, I, I really do. I love them so much, and they're so talented. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you.